brief as I can. So I uh, am an ex-student of Medifarm Solutions uh, and uh, I've done my master's in genetics from India and I was into teaching before coming to the US. I worked as an assistant professor back there. But uh, uh, after moving here, I was looking to get into something that's flexible. That's something I can manage along with my family. So uh, honestly speaking, I did not have much idea about pharmacovigilance. I did not have any background knowledge. So it was just a Google search. I found Medifarm Solutions. Nobody recommended it. It was just through Google search. I had a, uh, I found Medifarm Solutions. I was lucky, I feel. Then I talked to Abhishek. I attended his webinar and then I was interested in it. So I did my course in June. Uh, I started in June and uh, my marketing, I started in the last week of September. Uh, so I took a bit of time for that for preparation and all that, which I regret. I shouldn't have done that. Should have started as soon as I had uh, finished my uh, course. So I started in the last week of September when marketing uh, and um, October, November, October was okay. November, December were not so great uh, because of the holiday season and all did not really see any openings over there. Then in January, I got a call and then I did the interview. Uh, for me, it was just a one round. Uh, usually it's three rounds, but uh, this, and this was my third interview. Uh, so it, it was very brief. Uh, about 15 minutes. And then in the afternoon, I got the call. They said they wanted to hire me. So uh, it was very, uh, I don't know, maybe I was lucky, but I don't know. Uh, it was good. And uh, with respect to the interview, it was to the point, uh, only the subject, whatever we learn here, whatever Bishik teaches here. So that's the only thing they asked. Um, uh, I can say the questions, basically what they asked were, uh, they asked me about seriousness criteria. Then they asked me triage. How do you do triage or about triage? And then I was asked about query generation. How do you do query generation? And uh, I was asked about essay reconciliation. Those were the things they asked me. Uh, and uh, apart from that, they asked like, this is basic, which everybody asked like, what do you know about our company? So I had my preparation done. I had uh, I went to the website before the interview and I took my points from there. So I told about whatever I know about the company, what drug they're working on and what uh, uh, genre they work on, which uh, kind of drugs they work on. So that I talked about that. And then uh, the very important question is, why do you want to join this company? Or why do you want to join this position? Uh, that's what they asked. So those were the basic questions. It was done in 15 to 20 minutes. I was done. So that's pretty much it. So why did not you get, uh, uh, I mean, I, I did not know that you had to go through three interviews. So why did the two first two interviews did not click for you? Uh, the first interview, uh, I was not confident at all. I kind of, uh, I did not have much idea. Uh, so that was like, I had a brain freeze over there. So that was just a learning experience for me. The first interview was not so great at all. The second interview, I don't know. I tried to did my best, but I did not get any uh, callback from them. It was okay. It was okay from my side. I mean, not the best, but I did okay. But this third interview was, I was very confident. Uh, you know, the more interviews you face, the more confident you get. So that's what I feel. So did we do interview preps for all three of them? The first interview, no, we did not. Uh, you were not available at that time, unfortunately. So for that, my first interview, I was like, and it was, uh, I, I was told like, tomorrow you have an interview, tomorrow afternoon, I was told like, right, that's right, why I, I did not get any time for preparation. Okay, so when did you, when is your job starting right now? I started last week. I'm how, is so, how is it so far? So far, so good. Uh, they're training run, everything. Run, run through your day, What what happens in a day um, like I know most of the times in the first few weeks you do trainings and SOPs and working instructions and signing all like thousand documents for no reason. Yes. 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 So anything else that you think you're doing right now? No, it's basically training lots and lots of trainings, lots of reading and just like you said, signing of you know, acknowledgements and all of those things. And then uh, this first week is basically training on the SOPs and everything. And next week they're going to start my Argus training. Uh, with a instructor, one-on-one -on -one training will be starting from uh, next week. I think that should be done for another one week. And then in two weeks, I'm supposed to be ready for the work. They expect oh. me to be ready for the work. I'm sure with the training that we have given, you can train the trainer. Um, 
Yeah. So my last question before I open up is, what is one thing that you were uh, able to overcome in the third interview that you were confident? What comes to your mind? Like, okay, if I am able to do this interview well, what was that one thing that you told yourself before the interview? Like, okay, I need to get this thing done. Um, what was that one thing that you had to overcome? I think uh, confidence, basically. Uh, the previous interviews, I, I was not so confident and uh, I was like, I didn't believe what resume I had. So for the third interview, I kind of uh, believed in the resume, like this is me, yes, this is what I am. <laughs> so I think unless you believe in yourself, people will, won't believe you. So that's the thing worked for me in the third interview. So don't you think your education works? You have a lot of, uh, I mean, you did genetics, you kind of cracked the code for chromosomes and stuff, but you cannot crack yourself. Yeah, but uh, I don't know, <laughs> because uh, after coming to US, this is this will be my first job. So I was a bit, because of the gap and everything, I was a bit hesitant. So that's where I think I lost a bit of my confidence over there. So whom did you talk to during that time to regain who you are? You definitely, at every point for motivation, for everything, I uh, spoke to you and definitely you helped me a lot. I'm, I'm very I don't grateful. think I spoke to you at a length. I, I stopped doing that. Those brief moments, that's it. Oh, okay. All right, good. So, guys, any questions up? Please go ahead. So, when they asked you why you need this job, so what you said? Uh, no, they did not ask me why you need this job. They were like, why this position? Why do you want to... Okay, why, why this position? Means. So, I definitely said that um, based on my resume, like uh, the, job, the, the job description they had is basically what I did in, uh, in my uh, resume. So, I said I'm comfortable doing all these things. I already know about this. I've been doing this and I'm sure I can do a better job at this. That's what I said. And I said I'm comfortable with this. That's what I said. Hey, hi, Afia. First of all, congratulations for your uh, job. And my question is, uh, uh, when they ask you about the seriousness criteria, so did they ask like in a single question and did you answer in a single line or did you explain the actual seriousness? No, not a one line. So uh, I actually explained uh, the seriousness. You have to say like few lines about it. So I told them about what is uh, the seriousness criteria is what determines the reporting timelines, whether it's a seven day report or a 15 day report. And then I told, uh, what are the seven day reports and what are the 15 day okay, reports? Okay, so you explained the assessment, yeah. uh, like how how do you assessment? Yeah. Yes. Okay, thank you. Brief. I, uh, yeah, is, uh, they asked about your experience or about the course that you have undergone and about any questions about that? They don't ask about uh, any course, but they did ask, uh, like, definitely oh, when you start, yeah. they start, like, uh, just tell, uh, just run through your day. So you have to talk about, like, what do you do at your job? Based on your resume, you have to just explain your job role, your duties. That's all. Okay. Thank you. Hi, Afia. I have a oh, question yeah. about the training. Um, yes, if you're not talking, the... please mute. I hear a lot um, of background. Thank you. Hi, so I'm just asking about the training. So is it a self-training or someone um, sit with you and train you? Uh, are you doing a remote job or just like at the in-person uh, at the company? I know, so this is I, uh, this is a completely remote job and the training uh, with this, like they basically train with whatever, uh, you know, the apps and the website, uh, the company website, whatever the, you're going to use. The trainings are like short, just like how you have the modules over here. You just read through them and then there's a short quiz. You answer the quiz and then you just keep moving forward. It's like that. Uh, hey, Afia, uh, did they ask uh, like the situational questions like regarding uh, uh, the past experience? Did you like do that? And if, if there is a happen, what you will do? All these kind of questions? For this interview, I was lucky I did not ask, they did not ask me any situational questions for this interview. But for previous interview, I was asked, uh, okay. like uh, they asked me, uh, tell me about your achievements, something like that they had asked me. So. Okay, not for the technical standpoint, right? No, yeah. Okay. 
Thank you. Uh, hi, Afia. Uh, congrats. Uh, so did you mention in the resume about your past job experiences or work experience? Yes, that is definitely mentioned in the resume. Okay, so still you didn't get any queries like uh, why is it you are moving from a related to non-related kind of job or something? No, actually it depends on your resume. So my resume, like uh, whatever was there on my resume, it was very much related to what job I was applying for so that. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, so you worked as a educator in genetics and then you are converting yourself into a uh, medical drug safety physician or something. So uh, didn't they ask you like from your educational qualification or from your previous ex work experience, you are in a different technical field rather than this. Did they, did you come over such questions? Uh, no, so the whatever experience I have, I have from back from India, I did not put that into this current resume, so. Okay, that's what, uh, in a resume, you didn't mention the previous ones? No. Okay. Okay. Um, hi. hi. Uh, <laughs> sorry, can I go ahead? <laughs> yeah, please go ahead. Thank you. Uh, so how many positions you applied for and what are the roles you mainly applied for? Applications have done a lot from last week of September up until first week of January. I would say, uh, like Abhishek had uh, told us, so I was make I'm, I had made a, a application tracker, job application tracker, and I was putting all the jobs. So it, it came to about one hundred and fifty jobs that I had applied to. Out of those, I think uh, this was my third interview. Yeah. Thank Hi, Afia. Um, what's the exact position that you were hired for? Like your title? Uh, it's a case management specialist. Okay, thanks. Is it a full time position? No, it's a contract. Contract. Okay. So, what other questions did they ask you in your first two interviews? The other two interviews. Uh, First interview was very, I mean, I was not prepared for it. And they were asking like, uh, they asked about my current job that I was that I was showing on my resume. So they asked about that. And then they asked me what kind of uh, uh, AEs I come yeah, across. Yeah. They asked me about that uh, and uh, not much. That was like, that was so great. And then the previous interview about after that, the second interview, Pretty much same about the company and uh, experience, job experience, like what I do at the at my current job, what what are the duties that I do, and then um, I was also asked about query generation over there. How do you generate queries? Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. Hello, Afia. Congratulations. Um, uh, I was wondering in the process of uh, marketing, did you work with a recruiter? And if so, did that, um, can you describe that process a little bit? Thank you. Hi, so uh, recruiters, yes, because uh, when I was looking for jobs, I was just looking at the openings and I did not actually look if there's a recruiter there or not. I was just applying to, to uh, even if there's a recruiter, I try to apply through them. So that wasn't something like, yeah. So there's no specific recruiter that I worked with, but uh, there were a few. I like when when you post your resume on Indeed on Glassdoor, so many people look at it and they call you. So you just talk to them and you apply. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. Just like that. Not Thank anybody you. specific. I did not work with anybody specific. Got you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Afia. Thank you guys for all the questions. Um, what I can point out is just, just generic, nothing to do with Afia and her answers. Um, you know, for every person, for every uh, resume or every person, you guys have your own kind of unique stamp. So what might have happened with Afia, uh, you don't need to take it in the same way or in the same uh, track and say that, oh, I'm going to have three interviews and I need to get my job in the third interview. That's not how it works. 
there are folks many folks who have got their jobs in the first interview itself so again the way that we do is we try to do the best we can to kind of uh, make sure that you are uh, you are aimed for success in the way that we put together things in the resume and everything as much as i can share on a public platform like this we try to make sure that we polish around the resume part and then your interview preparation part there's more to uh, what you guys are not able to see what you guys are doing right now in the course and the subject and you know trying to learn the concepts and all those things is i would say 75% of the game but 75% of the game doesn't win you the game and i hope you understand that the last 25% comes after the course when you get into job placement you'll have uh, you'll 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 have a very different way of uh, uh, learning certain things that how you have to get a job in pharmacovigilance how many videos we do how many uh, interview preps we do it it requires you to have a lot of common sense in uh, in kind of answering the questions in the interview but also handling some of the things before the interview so again some people get it straight forward because uh, you you have that experience before and some don't um so you will take little more time so don't take what afia is saying uh, that it's going to happen to you in the same way your story might be completely different and if you if you have any doubt in what i'm saying go through all the success stories in the module uh, one of the module has success stories i believe you will see that what afia told you is not really exactly the same for every person it might differ now what is common is what i want afia to tell you i'm sure i did not uh, i mean i did not uh, disclose this question to her before it so but i know the answer is pretty much common among all the students with the experience i have so afia can you come on the video for one more time Sure, sure, I wish. I want to 